Awesome. Right, looks like the looks like the beaver has been active over here right now. Oh. This big clam, oh, Molly. It looks just like we left it. Hello everyone and welcome back. Here we are back at our spot where we like to camp here at the tent lake and I wanted to come out here today because for my birthday I received a camping hammock with the bug netting and the rain fly over the top and it's something that I have wanted for a while and I'm excited so I wanted to get out here and give it a try. I brought uh, quite a few things, but the one thing I did forget is my propane fire starter. My tiger torch. So, we're going to have to rub two sticks together or something to get this fire going. But, uh, that's alright. I think we can find some birch bark and get a fire going. First and foremost though, I got to get my canopy set up because we're supposed to get quite a few rain showers today. And with all of my camera equipment and clothes and things like that. I need something to keep the rain off of them. So we're gonna get that set up first. Last time we were camping, I stayed right here in this open area with the tent. It's a beautiful spot, but it doesn't have two large trees for me to tie my hammock into. So I think we're gonna have to go on the other side and string up the hammock over here. In between the pine tree here and the pine tree there, I think that'll be about perfect distance. For wondering about my little Mike Kwiatkowski, I uh, grabbed that from Rose's Toys today because I figured uh, it can come along and I can tell her about it. Many years ago when Sam and I lived at our nice apartment, I met a guy who was a subscriber of the YouTube channel here and he told me all these wonderful stories about how him and his boys would go out and do camping with hammocks. And ever since then, I have been interested in it, but I never really got the opportunity to try it. So finally, I put this on my birthday wish list, and my wife bought it for me. It was, I think, $45. And then my mother-in-law bought me this little inflatable travel pillow, which is going to be nice, because every time I'm out here, I forget to bring a pillow. So then you end up using a sweatshirt or whatever, and but this is nice because it can almost fit in the bag. But I've never had one of these before and it comes with everything. It comes with the rain fly and the uh, bug netting and stuff like that. So I'm interested to see what, what it's all about. Oh nice, the bag is attached to it so you can't really lose that. Yeah, I think these two trees are gonna work out nice. And I've never slept in a hammock before, so 
We'll see how that goes too. <laughs> What's in this one? Okay, this little baggie has my stakes for the rain fly. I'm imagining this is probably the rain fly. Yeah, and it's like a, it's not like, it's a different material than like that canopy top. This is almost like a, a shower curtain kind of liner kind of. Huh. And this, I'm sure we don't litter the things. These must be the straps for the, yep, these are the straps. So simple. Huh. Okay. But what keeps them up is my question. If I had to imagine, I would say you're supposed to cinch it through and then tighten it against the tree, but I don't know if I have that option. Oh, well, maybe. Let's see about this one. Oh, actually, we can do it. So I think we're supposed to kind of cinch it like that. But then it kind of becomes too long, so I can wrap it around. Wrap it around a few times. Ugh. I'm going to do the other side here. I don't want it to slide down on me. This ain't so bad. I think I gotta push these wings out more because if it rains just right, it can get me, but. <sighs> so I forgot my tiger torch to start fires and it rained all last night, this morning, and it's gonna rain a bunch, but I have some of these easy start fire starter deals and uh, a lighter that might work and there's a birch tree here so let's try to uh, let's try to make a fire a little more authentically actually there's a ton of birch bark just laying all over the ground here that's awesome there's a big piece back here
See how that birch bark burns faster even than the uh, than the uh, fire starter. Okay, lunch is, what is this, Thousand Hills Stadium Brats, hickory smoked, should be pretty good. These look yummy. While the brats are cooking, I wanted to take a minute to answer a couple questions that I've gotten a lot in the Bay House videos and things like that. The questions are, where did the Ranger go and did you quit your job? So the Ford Ranger, I love that truck, <laughs> but it had a, when it, would, when it would shift into overdrive, it developed a shutter that made me a little bit leery. And the, the truck, whether you were towing anything or just driving it empty, gets, would get 16 miles per gallon. And that's not terrible, but you guys know how gas prices are and how they were. I believe they're starting to kind of trend downward. But um, the, the fact of that part of it was the van towing, like towing the boat, gets 20, probably 22 to 23, and then empty gets uh, 26 to 27. So um, for me to license it and insure it and then drive it every day, it just became uneconomical, if that makes sense. And then the shutter started happening and I thought, well, I think I'm just gonna throw in the towel on this one. Um, I'm really interested in the new Ford Mavericks they're a unibody design, but they're all-wheel drive, EcoBoost, and I think it would actually fit a lot of my needs. So we're looking into those. I don't know when we'll get our hands on one or if we will, but I'm just really interested in that concept um, for sure. And the second question, obviously, is did I quit my job? And yes, I did quit my job. I had worked there for eight years, and for seven of the eight years, I worked on second shift. And my wife and I always talked, and we, we always thought, you know, when we get to days, everything will be great. You'll be on a fantastic schedule, and, um, and life will be good. And as far as my social life went, and my family life, yeah, that definitely improves drastically. Um, if you're looking at a job or going to be getting into the workplace and they're offering you a second or a third shift, I would strongly suggest 
taking a way less pay, like $5 less an hour pay for a day shift position because um, after living it for seven years and then seeing the flip-flop of it, uh, yeah, I definitely wasted away seven years. Um, so when I went to days, I thought everything was going to be fantastic, and I got the experience of working underneath a team lead that I have never worked for anybody with that kind of mentality. Um, extremely uh, tightly wound individual, and he was 63 years old, and he liked he liked to play games where he would you know bad talk people. And there was like three or four different occasions where I you know. He would try to be bad talking one of my buddies or whatever, and uh, I would say, hey, uh, you can't do that. <laughs> uh, certainly not in your position. And um, finally, full circle came, and I became his target. And about three weeks prior to me quitting, I almost walked out because he was just treating me so terribly. The only thing that actually kept me there was knowing that I only had a few weeks left. So the company had awesome benefits, awesome pay, and things of that nature, but um, if you have to go to work every day and try to protect your image from your friends because your team lead is trying to... Uh, degrade who you are as a person, I guess would be, slander you. I don't really know what the proper terminology would be. Um, it's not really worth your time. <laughs> and it wasn't worth my time. And um, pretty much when I got to days, I knew that it wasn't really going to be a long-term situation. So my wife and I talked, do we get another job? Do I get another job? Um, what, what do we do? And we wanted to move up north anyways. So we just kind of pushed our goal forward and you know it's well you guys are here for it <laughs> you know um that's just the way our timeline worked so as of right now i'm doing youtube full time uh and you know i really want to get some other stuff going i do have some other stuff going that i'm really not talking about um work wise i'm doing a series on it but we will cross that bridge much later on. And uh, that's where kind of things stand. So yeah, I, I quit there. My wife is still stay at home uh, with our daughter. That's her <laughs> full, full-time job. That's a lot of work. And uh, I've been doing all these house repairs and going out and doing these videos for you guys. And sometimes, you know, I went out fishing last week and I had a terrible time. I didn't get any fish. Uh, I ran into a bunch of rocks. It just didn't line up. So, um, you know, there's effort that goes in that you guys will never see. And um, that's just the way it goes. And you know, also, yesterday I worked on sheetrock in the basement for probably eight to ten hours and what that equals on video is maybe 15 seconds <laughs> so uh sometimes you know it has to get done and it takes a long time and it doesn't equal a lot of video time yeah i could make it a five or ten minute long segment of me cutting sheetrock mudding sheetrock taping sheetrock but it's not my position really to make it like a how-to video and because I'm not a professional at it and uh, you know I it doesn't equate much to on, a, on, on the video very much but <laughs> that's just the way it goes sometimes anyways let's enjoy our lunch here these stadium brats look delicious I have a specialty Mountain Dew here uh, and I have some of these Lay's barbecue chips which give me the worst heartburn, but they are delicious. So we're going to sit back and relax, enjoy our lunch, and uh, hopefully now everybody's on the same page. So you've been seeing me a lot more on this channel, and that's because I'm just going with it. It um, pays our bills, and uh, 
works out fine, but um, I don't know where I'll be in six months. I don't know any of that, but all I know is that we made a decision that we wanted to do for a long time and uh, it's working out well for us. So let's eat. So my daughter and my wife also got me a bunch of spinner baits for my birthday. And I get to try them out. So we have, I don't know how many of them, maybe six of them. All different colors. Ugh. See all the different colors. I love these and these ones I, I like because they have the enclosed loop on the top so when you hook your leader into them they don't slide and they have the what I'm gonna call diamond shape spoon on them. Some of them just have like a, a round spoon and they work nice too. I like the diamond ones. And then a bunch of these leaders so always need more fishing stuff because as you guys see you go to cast it and it breaks off or you get a big fish and it ruins them, so awesome. I also got a couple Whopper Poppers and things like that that I need to try. I tried them out the other day when I went fishing and I didn't catch anything. So I haven't really showed you them yet, so we'll try those. But I think we're going to uh, stir around the fire and make sure that's good and then head out fishing because it's going to be good. All right. If you're wondering about my new chair, all that it is is an office chair that I ripped the base off of and it just sits on here and it works fantastic and saved me $50 because I won't have to worry about getting a, a different chair. <laughs> Stuck on a tree here. jumping out here so we're gonna start off with a green blue Shown. Ooh, this one doesn't feel like a bat or a northern. I think this one might be a bass or something. Oh. Two casts. Two casts, and we got this little northern. A little slimer here. Noise, noise, noise. So when I was at the store, I seen this little MEPS number three. And I seen this, uh, I don't know, floater. <clears throat> so we're gonna try the floater. Cause I have a, my spinner bait out there. So we're gonna try the floater on the open face. That way we can get lots of distance on it and see if anything's digging that. A lot of times you guys will say, why do you only fish with one one type of, uh, you know, you have all this other stuff. Well, I do, 
I use frogs and things like that, but they don't ever get me anything. So then I don't put it in the videos because I don't feel the need to. So, okay, it's starting to rain here, so we gotta get fishing before I get rained out. Just doing the top water with a nice slow retrieve. Check out this campsite. This here's another one of these nice little campsites. The reason I don't pick these ones is the other one's kind of on an island. And so, you know, I don't have to keep compete with bears and lots of wildlife. Ugh. But this one here is really pretty. You can tell no one's been here all year because of all these ferns. Ugh. But this one's really pretty. We got some firewood here. See, I think, I think somebody stays at this one uh, once a year or something like that. It just, I think that's the case. But this one here is really pretty. But like I said, on this side here, you're on land land, so you're competing with bears and other wildlife.
this is one of those old campsites too. This has to be one of those old campsites. Huh. Look at the beaver chewed on that and on that one. <laughs> Definitely plenty of cut wood, but no fire ring. This is a pretty spot. Lots of firewood on hand. Huh. Wonder where the fire ring went. I mean, right here, that's like cut and split wood. Doesn't need a fire ring. You know, you can have fire anywhere, but. Maybe it wasn't uh, official kind of unofficial. <laughs> Well, I should probably start making dinner here. I realized a minute ago that I forgot to bring stuff for breakfast. So tomorrow I'll pretty much have to probably get up and get out because I'm going to get hungry. <laughs> I thought I could show you guys what I have on me though. Um, you might see me floating around with my, my main one here, uh, which is a Leatherman Wave. And I like the Leatherman Wave because it has just the right amount of things on it. It's not too much, not too little, if that makes sense. Uh, the ones I use, of course, is the the, the knives, and more so the uh, the uh, straight knife. That makes sense. So your regular blade. Um, it does have the serrated blade, and I use the serrated blade for things that are like glue or going to be gunky because I don't eat with the, with the serrated side. If I'm going to eat something I don't have another knife, I will use my Leatherman. But it's come in handy. I've had it since we lived at the St. Cloud house. So probably like four to six years and uh, it's worked well. Then also when I'm out camping I like to have a second blade. Not that I necessarily need it because I already got two but I like to have a dedicated knife and that can differ um, I think last time I was rocking my Mora knife this time I'm not I'm rocking this uh, buck knife um, I also have two charade brand knives and I'll go grab one of those and kind of talk about that for a minute too so this is a charade knife and many years ago they moved all of their production to China. It was a big deal. So dad bought up a bunch of these because for each one of us kids when we got our first deer he gave us this knife as a present to do the field dressing which I think is actually a very nice um, gift. So somehow though I ended up with two of them <laughs> and this one is my original one. I had to clean it up with some steel wool because it's getting tarnished. 
The reason I know it's original is because this side has a light green and this side has a dark green. But, it's a United States of America trade knife. And this one always goes with me deer hunting. It goes in my backpack because that's its purpose. Well, I mean, it says USA on there, so maybe. But, I mean, it's the same thing as a buck knife. Um, Maybe that's when Buck got popular is because they didn't do that. I don't, I have no idea, but that's kind of the purpose behind these. And then a long time ago, I got into Ray Mears Bushcraft on YouTube. That was probably in like 2006. And I believe he uses more knives. And everybody talks so highly of these, so I bought one. And they're cheap, they're like 15 bucks. But they're made in Sweden, and uh, they're very, very nice knives. The only thing that I would like to see from it is maybe a better holster. I think you can buy leather ones. I'm a, like a leather holster kind of guy because they flex a little better and stuff like that. Or one of those ones that fits like sideways on your belt would be cool. But having a full tang knife, like a Mora knife, where it doesn't fold, I think is really nice too but I always have plenty of knives around because they come in handy all the time and uh, especially camping you want to have plenty of knives Gotta let those potatoes boil for a little while to soften them up enough so that when we throw them in the fry pan, they will be good and ready. Pretty good. That was a good dinner. Let's go fishing and see if we can have any luck. I 
I cannot get on these fish today. I tried the wacky worm and the Texas rig and that didn't get me anywhere. I tried my maps, that didn't get me anywhere. I tried my top water, that didn't get me anywhere. The daredevil, nope. I'm gonna go back to a spinner bait. Oh, because I just can't seem to can't seem to figure out what they're in the mood for today. Got a little one. That's a good one. Finally got a good one here. Finally. <laughs> Took all day. Look at that. <laughs> it took all day to get one that size. Oh yeah. Oh, I got that on camera too. Oh, it's a big one. Oh yes. Oh yes. Did you guys see that? Oh, it's fighting so good. Oh, it's pulling the boat. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, 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 it's a big one, guys. Yep. Oh, it broke my line. Oh, that thing was a nice fish. Wow. That was a nice fish. Holy, another one. <laughs> I want to get that one that I almost had. That's the one I really want to get. Oh, oh, oops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come here. Come here. You little, you little snake. There you go. Good morning everybody. I uh, had a nice night of sleep. The mosquitoes are out this morning. A lot of them. So I'm trying to get my uh, stuff on and get out of here as quickly as I can.
All right, we got everything. Just doing our final walkthrough to make sure we're not gonna have anything fly out. 